Hey all, so tonight's experiment is going to be trying to glass bead blast some wheels, which is going to involve building a place to do that. And then, yeah, we're going to give it a shot. And if it works, it's going to follow up with a couple of videos on me restoring some of the wheels I have. So let's get going. So I'm going to be trying out this little spot blaster I got from Harbor Freight. I don't actually have high hopes for it because it was in the clearance section, but it was cheap enough I figured I'd give it a shot. I have some glass bead media and I'm going to go through it. And then to keep it somewhat contained, I've got this box from my compressor that I'm going to try and cut into a sort of blast chamber. That's, I guess, the best word for it. Just something so that the media doesn't end up completely all over the driveway. All right, compressor's going because I was running this obviously, but so twofold. One, containment seems pretty good for my minimal amount of effort. There's a little bit over here, but other than that, like the ground seems pretty clear of the glass beads and it definitely does work. My completely half-assed effort here, you can see if you look at this side versus over here, this is very rough. This is really actually quite smooth. And it started to clean up the fin area here. Like any place I hit it with a blaster, it is noticeably smoother. I wish I had noticed that was there. I would have hit that with it as well. I did a little bit here on the lip and it seemed to help that, though not as dramatically. And then back here on the back face, it also was doing a great job of removing all this corrosion. It was working up here. It wasn't really working on this, but I think this is brake dust. So I think I should probably clean these more thoroughly first to get the brake dust off so the blaster's not fighting it. But I'm actually really impressed with that, how much that got off. And it seems to have done no... Like, the surface is satin, but I'm pretty sure that a little polish, I can bring that right back up. In fact, let's try that right now. Yeah, so hopefully, I don't know how well it'll show up relative sheen wise, but did a quick and dirty job of polishing right here. And that's definitely gone from the full satin to so much shiny with just a quick shot. And then I did this one um, spoke here and same thing, like it's gotten actively shiny. I went at these with a um, fine fiber disc and got a pretty good shine on them too. So I think if I use the blaster to get rid of, the blaster is gonna be most useful for like getting in here and getting in here and all the places where it's gonna be hard to get the abrasive disc in but I'm really happy with that for just not a lot of effort I think I need to cut this box down further so I can get more direct access at the wheel and I think I'll I might grab that box and sort of enclose myself in it maybe see if I can keep all the blasting mess in the same place but no that that did a really good job for not a lot of effort um so cool. We're definitely now going to have to go through and I'm going to have to go through and blast all of these and then finish refinishing them. Even though these aren't going on the van, I want to refinish them, if nothing else, so that I can get a nicer price for them when I sell them on to the next person. Plus, you know, hey, somebody else will have some nice wheels and I'll get some content out of it. But yeah, this is definitely going to need more blasting, but it's also definitely a functional way to do this for not a lot of money. Like This was, I think, $11. The blaster wasn't much more, but I also got that on clearance. But um, this stuff is supposedly really easily reusable. Like, you just scoop it up, you sift it to get any chunks out. 
and then reuse it right again and again for a fair amount. So cool. Experiment, I would say pretty good success. All right, so that's it for now. Thank you all very much for watching. I uh, will talk to you later. Bye.